So we have this list of comments and the chances are good that if you wrote a comment, you might wanna be able to delete it as well. Of course, in this one, we're not actually gonna be checking whether or not the user is the commenting user. We're just gonna delete any comment. So any user would be able to delete any comment. And the reason we're not actually checking this stuff is because that integration is way more important when they actually delete it. Instead, we're gonna just show you a, a method to do so. And what we first wanna do is create a function that handles the delete. So we'll say delete comment, and this is gonna be a function. And all we're gonna do here is scope.post.comments and splice. So we're gonna remove the comment. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting any particular comment. So I'll just go ahead and pass in a comment into the argument of the function. So we just remove the comment from it. And that's how you do it. You do it at that position and that's it. It's very, very simple. That's how you remove a comment from a list. Now, of course, this is not removing it from the database. So it's not the same thing as if we had a comment model or the, wrapped to it, the comment resource, because you can use something called um, delete like this on a resource itself. So some resource dot delete will actually allow us to delete that resource from the database as well. So it run the methods necessary to run it. But again, we're not gonna do that until we actually integrate this with a backend service. But for now, this is all that's gonna happen. Very simple. Hopefully you understand what to do by now. If not, let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna go ahead and just do a href equals to a hashtag. We'll just do ng click and it's gonna be that delete comment function. And then we'll just say delete, close off the a. Remember we wanted to actually pass in a parameter here and that is gonna be the actual comment that we are deleting. This makes it a little bit easier on us because it is a list, so there's gonna be a lot of these delete comment functions showing up once it's all done. Um, that's really it. Very simple, very straightforward. Okay, so let's go refresh into our comments and if I click delete, sure enough, they remove from the view um, and they're there and they're gone. So if I add new comments, they are there and they are also showing delete. Um, so those things will work in real time once we have a backend system, but it's very simple and straightforward to do it on our own. Now there's one more thing that I wanna do is add the confirmed delete. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more of these items here. And on the first one, I'm gonna add this as confirm. So I'll just say confirm, and then we'll change this to ng from ng click to confirmed click, and then confirm dash click equals to do you want to delete this? We save that, refresh. Now we have the delete and confirm. If I hit confirm confirm, and say okay, nothing seems to happen. If I hit concur, confirm and hit cancel, also nothing seems to happen. So let's go ahead and write it out. Ooh, the first one went away. So I hit confirm again, write something out. Notice it goes away. So that has to do with how the scope is actually being run. So if we look at the directive itself, we're running it to evaluate this action in particular, but it's not actually changing how the scope is running. So we're gonna use another method to wrap this in here, and that is scope.apply, or excuse me, scope dollar sign apply, and then in parentheses, we're gonna put that new scope function that we want to have run. We save that, go back in, confirm, okay, it's gone now. So this allows us to actually confirm those things. And again, once we have that back end, it will actually really confirm it and really delete it. But for now, that is how it actually works. So that's confirm in action using something in scope. And this is a realistic situation that we would use it in, not like on our list view. When we click on this, it says, are you ready? That doesn't make any sense. We now have the delete portion working. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.